Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, just Tiffany B. And I'm about to dive in on this anti-haul by Kylie Cosmetics. So before we dive on in, for those of you who have known me, thanks for turning back in and watching my videos. I really appreciate it so much. And for those who don't know me, what's up you guys? I'm Tiffany. Trust me, you're going to grow to love me. If you want to, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're already there, go ahead and hit that bell so you're always notified when I'm posting a video. Now that I'm done talking about myself, let's go ahead and get to the business. All right, you guys, one more disclaimer. I'm not doing a rant or a bashing of her cosmetics line because if you know my channel, you know I love her her makeup you know like I'm always a sucker for her packaging and if you watch my last video that I just recently posted is the Kylie cosmetics haul so no I'm not coming for Kylie I'm just simply stating facts you know I mean a girl's gotta save her money somehow you know what I mean and um, I was legit sitting down in my room going through Instagram checking out trend moves and I wanted to see the prices before the collection drops on the 15th and once I saw the prices I was like okay so now that you guys I hope you guys understand that I'm not trying to bash her any type of way I'm just trying to stay awake to what the cosmetics lines are trying to do to my pockets so I'm trying I'm starting to see okay I have this in my collection is this necessary you know what I mean so now that I'm done rambling and I hope the haters that try to come for me understand that I'm just trying to save me some money and save y'all some money you know I'm I like the greens, okay? I'm trying to save y'all some greens. Alright, I'm done talking. Um, so as I'm looking through, the first thing she's showing us is Skinny Dip. And now Skinny Dip is just a small compact that comes with a bronzer and a highlight. That set it's for $34. Now for $34, the bronzer itself is not colored friendly. So for example, I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't be picking this up because the bronzer doesn't fit my skin tone. You know? So no, I wouldn't be picking that up. And the highlighter is subtle. You know what I mean? Just like her highlighters. With that being said, for the price, you can might as well go out and go get the Urban Decay flushed palette it comes with a bronzer comes with the highlighter and you could go ahead and get the blush for guess what $34 you know like when I see this palette I don't pay too much attention to it because the pigmentation and the quality that you're getting from that palette and it's coming in a cardboard box and if you're paying $34 for it might as well you go out and get a high end another thing for the skinny dip when I see that what I really see, might as well you go out and get the Too Faced Sweetheart Bait bronzer because it comes with a bronzer and it comes with a highlighter. And the reason why I say this, this highlighter reminds me so much of her highlighter because this highlighter is so subtle and her highlighters are so subtle as well and you can build them up. So this is $30. And Kylie's is $34, so you can save $4 and you're buying a high-end product, you know what I mean? And the, all of this stuff is dupable. It's really up to you guys if you want to purchase it. So, moving right along, this is what tweets me so much, you guys. The Wet Set Palette. In the back of my mind, I honestly felt like it was going to be like $40 because I seen this highlighter set out before. So many makeup companies came out with basically this highlighter set. And now what they're trying to say is, you guys, it's a wet formula. It's a wet, creamy, powdery highlight. You know what I mean? She priced this palette for $62. $62 you know might as well you add a few more dollars onto that and go out and buy Tom Ford you guys she's pricing her things for high-end value when sometimes the quality is questionable and sometimes the package is questionable you know with these prices it shouldn't be questionable at all for example instead of getting the wet set palette if you already have the sun dipped palette by Anastasia you guys that is the same it's the same colors 
it's the same everything the only thing people could say well well it's not a wet consistency i want a wet consistency you know what i say for those people out there do you know what i say I know everybody has some type of um, setting spray, primer spray, some type of spray. All you have to do, get your highlighter set. It's going to be the same consistency. As long as you get your highlighter bright on your face that is slapping people, why do you care if it's creamy wet or powdery form? As long as you're disrespecting people with your highlight, that's all that matters don't go out and buy hey but it's up to you if you want to it's just i'm just saying for me i don't need i'm starting to really hate myself because i got quite a few highlighters and i don't touch them all at the same time you know what i mean but um for this 62 dollar highlighter palette i'm just gonna set that to the side you know i'm just gonna it's okay i'm good i'm gonna pass on that and um other than the sun dipped anastasia what had me tripping what really had me tripping was like does anybody remember oh my god does anybody remember this palette launching hmm, hmm? do you remember because i remember it i feel like it was just two days ago that this launched. this palette comes with six colors for forty dollars Oh, wait, wait a second. Is this a creamy wet feeling? Like it's a powder form, but it feels creamy. Like it's feel creamy to touch. Like it's not like the any of the other Anastasia palette. I don't have to use this because it's already creamy and blinding. So Nicole, thank you for collabing with them and making this special product because, because, Another thing, the Huda Beauty. Like, did everybody forget that that already launched and it's $45 and it seems like the same setup? The Send Me More Nudes, the nude set that she has, did everyone forget that she just launched basically the same shades with her sister Kim Kardashian? And don't get me started with the main fact that I won't get these nudes is because it's not colored friendly like honestly I feel like they're all look ashy on my lips and I feel like on my skin tone it's gonna be all the same shades they're all the same shades but different undertones they're all nudes but with different undertones so I'm not gonna go out and spend $45 each because one is the same set of shades but it's a matte oh and the other one is the same set of shades but it's velvet nude i'm sorry even if you got the money to spend or not if you're out there like oh my gosh i need the mats and oh my gosh i need the velvets together i'm gonna slap y'all no don't do it to yourself don't don't but if you want to go ahead and do it and i'm not gonna lie i was so salty and i was so mad when i saw that she because i saw two sets of dudes so i thought she was gonna do okay here's a warmer set of nudes that many people of warmer skin tone could use because we have nudes too that fit our skin tones there's nudes for us you guys there is nudes for every set of colors out there so i don't understand why she's stick it to the same set of dudes and only making it for one set of skin tones there's a lot of other skin tones out there just saying just saying there's nudes for everyone all right so the next set that she announced in her vacation collection are um she's coming out with two super glitter glosses and now i'm not gonna lie i'm not mad at her when she came out with these glosses because one glosses are starting to come back and for you guys who don't believe that is that opening up your eyes like glosses is coming back and the fact that she came out with super glittery glosses I'm not gonna lie, I had my eye on one of them. The one I had my eye on is Glamour because it seemed like a very dark, darker, warmer, glittery gloss. So, you know, I might 
Uh, I might go ahead and purchase that, you know? I just might have to because I really like her glosses. I'm not gonna lie. It's not priced too bad. It's cheaper than the Jouer glosses. The Jouer glosses are $16 while hers is $15. So, you know, I ain't mad at it. Glitz seems like the um, lip topper from Jouer Skinny Dip. Those glosses seem very similar. So, if you already have Skinny Dip, Go ahead and think twice about purchasing that because glitz kind of seem like skinny dip. Not gonna lie. The next thing she revealed in her collection is the eyeshadow palette. When I saw that, I'm like, okay, brush looking decent, mirror size look pretty decent. Let me see the price for this though. The price for it is $52. Now the eyeshadows, I like the theme that she was trying to go with, but for me to spend $52, I gotta know in my heart that I'll use that palette every single day. I feel like I'll do a makeup tutorial with that palette and then sit it like in the back of my drawer until I see like, hey, I remember that palette. And I don't know about you guys, but I know I have my eye on Morphe with Jaclyn Hill launching their palette very soon. I believe it's like the 21st or the 23rd. Um, that palette seems very similar, but with more options, way more shades. Um, I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm putting that on the back burner. I'm definitely not going to be spending $52 for a few shades when I could go out and get that Morphe palette. Hey. <laughs> um, when I could get that Morphe palette, that's $38. All right, so let's move on to June Bug, you guys. Let's move on to June Bug, you guys. For June Bug, I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot. N more than this, I have a lot of purples in my collection because, you know, I really love purples. Now, I don't have Junebug in my hand to swatch them side by side. I have to go based off the picturing and the lighting. And also, one thing that she hasn't started doing is, Kylie, can you please, <laughs> please, when you're coming out with products, can you please let everyone, different people of different skin tone try them on so we know what it's gonna look like on us. So guesstimating with the pictures that I've seen, I really feel like Kat Von D LUV is Junebug. Okay, now if you saw that one picture with the girl that had her hair up and she was just killing Junebug, by the way, honey, I don't know who you are, but you were slaying that shade. You were slaying that shade. Like, once I saw that, I'm like, okay, I gotta buy it, gotta buy it. Like, I don't care, I gotta buy it. But once I sat down and started thinking, I'm like, wait. But do I already have that shade? Do I? Her Ultra Glow Loose Highlighters, I'm actually very proud of her. Like, Kylie, you did your job with that from what I see online, you know? Cause I don't have it in my hand yet. I can't touch and play around with it. But Kylie, I'm, I'm very proud of you. And like, those highlighters are for $14. I, when I think about loose powders, I think about Artist Contour. Now, their highlighters are nothing to be played with. That's why I understand their price point for $27. But if Kylie's coming out with loose highlighters for $14, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hands on that and see if it's dupable. So we shall see. So I'm not mad with everything in her collection. I'm just very disappointed with her starting to rise the prices on things with the packaging and some of the quality that we're getting. I don't know about y'all, but I'm working hard for my bread. So I'm gonna start thinking about the things that I'm buying and not just be hypnotized like, oh my gosh, that palette looks cute. Swipe. Like, don't do that, you guys, because that's what I've been doing. But legit, she's been coming out with collections back to back to back. Like, can I breathe? Please, can my paychecks please breathe? Like, Kylie, stop, stop it. And another thing that got me fired up to do this video was like, okay, let me see this bundle that she got going on because sometimes when she do her bundles, no, always when she do her bundles, it's, 
it's a smart it's slightly smarter idea to do it because you save a few like two to three five dollars off her bundles in the bundle the wet seat the wet set is not included so you gotta pay the bundle is 250 dollars for some people that's hey let me drop 250 dollars on some makeup like hey that's nothing kudos to you not for me no boo boo i won't be doing that <laughs> right after you spend that 250 dollars if you really want that wet set go ahead and spend another 62 dollars i can't keep up with y'all can't do it can't do it will not be doing it <laughs> but um you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below because i'm over here i need to breathe my money need to breathe so i'm going to be passing on most of the stuff in her collection i'm not bashing everything i'm not angry i'm just like really waking up and realize what's going on you know what i mean so thanks for listening if you guys listen to my opinions it's really appreciated um, let me know your opinions down below because i want to listen to i want to read it too so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you again bye you guys <laughs>